Hey folks, Stefan here. Welcome to Stardew Valley Kitchen, where I prepare something inspired by each of the recipes available in the game. For this first episode, we're going to cook a fried egg, which is the default recipe in the game. It's a bit of a strange choice, given that a coop is 4,000 gold and a chicken is another 800 gold. Chances are, you won't be collecting any eggs until summer at the earliest. But, cooking a fried egg is pretty easy, so maybe that influenced the decision. Fried eggs are eaten worldwide, from Austria to Korea, Ireland to Russia, Portugal to India, and of course, in the United States. In the US, we have many types of fried eggs. They are over easy, which cooked on both sides, with the whites fully cooked, but the yolk running. Over medium is also cooked on both sides, but with the yolk cooked through, but not hard. I know from the co-optional podcast that over medium is Total Biscuit's favorite fried egg. If you don't like soft yolks, you'll probably want to choose over hard. It is cooked on both sides and the yolk is broken, so it spreads out. There is also over well, which is more like a flat, hard-boiled egg. But in Stardew Valley, the fried egg is sunny side up, meaning the yolk is whole and rises above the cooked white and sort of looks like the sun in a bank of clouds. Presentation-wise, sunny side is the best looking, in my opinion. To make our sunny side up fried egg, we need just two ingredients. An egg. I recommend using local organic eggs, but any chicken egg will work. And two teaspoons of butter. So for our fried egg, we're going to melt some butter in a skillet, non-stick skillet, preferably. And this is over um, medium high, like one notch above medium, because we want to cook the we want the egg to set pretty quickly. But it also means that we don't have much time to add, so we have to be prepared. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can deal with getting the top of the egg cooked. Probably the easiest way is to use a tablespoon, or a, sorry, a teaspoon or two of water. Put it in after the egg white had set on the bottom, then cover and sort of steam the top of the egg. You can also do what we're going to do, which is baste the egg with the, the uh, butter that's in the rest of the pan. All right, so we're ready to break the egg in there. We want to try not to break the uh, yolk or get shell into the pan. So it's a little bit trickier. Okay, that was a good clean break. Now it's going to set pretty quickly, as you can see. And I'm going to just take some of this hot butter and put it right in here, right on this top white part that we want to have cook. Because all the heat, of course, is in the bottom, and this is thicker, it's, it's higher up, so we need to get some uh, heat into that with this melted butter. Now, it will cook on its own eventually, but you don't want to uh, brown the bottom very much. It's okay for it to be browned a little bit. I think most fried eggs tend to have a little bit of browning to them. It's starting to cook right here, which is good. We don't really want the yolk itself to cook. We want that to stay running. And try not to burn yourself on the pan like I just did. Now, it's a lot easier to do this any of the over, uh, whether it's easy, hard, or medium. Those are much easier. Especially the hard, because you break the yolk in that one anyway. And that's what, if you just said you wanted a fried egg, that's probably what you'd end up with. Okay, so this is just about done. We just need a little bit of spot in here that we'd like to see, and hopefully the splatter's not going to hit the lens. That's the problem with this. It is a little bit messier because we're using a high temperature. Alright, we can probably take that off now, and the residual heat in the pan is going to help it to cook. Okay, we're back with a plated egg. I'm going to hold it up here, hopefully you can see that in the camera, we don't want the yolk to run off, but it's a beautiful sunny side up egg, and that will give you 50 energy and 20 health. Mmm, so good. you are going to get something to sop up that yolk with, a nice piece of bread or something. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite way to have a fried egg? Thanks so much for watching, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.